Hi everyone, it is Laura with Pampered Chef. So what is a strata? I don't know, what's a mod strata with you? Sorry, that was probably too corny. But anyway, so you have your quiches, the quiches, and then you have a frittata, and you have a strata. So a quiche is an egg dish that has a crust. A frittata is an egg dish that has no crust. Well, a strata, you can do so many variations on this. Uh, even with a quiche and a frittata, you can as well. But this has bread. So the best kind of bread to use is something, even like a day-old bread. So go to the store, look for the section with the day-old bread. Um, that is your best kind, okay? You want it a little bit, I don't want to say tough, but you want it to, um, if you can't chew through it, that's okay. That's kind of the best kind because you're going to use egg and milk and seasonings to soak into your bread, okay? So I got this loaf of sourdough bread in my Rude Gypsy box and it was very challenging for us to chew through it. So I cubed it up, but it didn't quite have enough that I needed. So I'm also going to use cut up English muffins. Do you guys have a teenager that gets into the fridge and then doesn't close everything right? So when you go in to get something, it's like dried out or hard. No, just my team. Okay, thanks. All right, so we're back to focus, sorry. So um, we're going to take our English muffins and we're going to kind of just put them at the bottom of the pan, okay? So we're going to put all this on the bottom. And I'm just using a metal pan. I did put some butter on the bottom so that the bread won't stick as much. So I'm gonna show you what our fi fillings are, okay? So I have 12 eggs in here with some milk. You can use any kind of milk. I'm out of heavy whipping cream. Grandma, I found out grandma's secret ingredient to great eggs was heavy whipping cream. So. I do recommend heavy whipping cream. So we're gonna add some seasoning. So some pepper and we're gonna add some kosher salt. Remember me and I, I love our kosher salt, but it's a coarser salt. I love that. Now here's where garlic. So I'm a huge fan of adding garlic to everything and fresh garlic is always best, but you know what? It's Sunday and it's, let's clean out the fridge, kind of lazy day, but anyway. This is the key, dill. I love dill. Dill on eggs is so good, okay? Now, you can even use evaporated milk for your egg mixture. My, in fact, that's what I, I use evaporated milk for my mashed potatoes, okay? So we're gonna add all, mix all this up, okay? Now we're gonna add in our cheese. Yes, it's a lot of cheese, okay? It's, no, it's not a secret as to why I am not skinny. Okay, all right, so moving on. So cheese is very important in our life. I know they say you should, you know, like your cheese serving should be like your thumb. And I, like, I don't know anybody, I need a bigger thumb. Okay, so we're going to continue putting this and then there's no, you don't have to do anything rhyme or reason. Make, make sure the cut side is up, okay? That's more important because it's gonna soak in, okay? So now, when I was cooking our dinner last night, which was buffalo chicken burgers, I was already cooking on the skillet or uh, using a skillet. So why not just get the burner going and cook the bacon and sausage right along with it? So that's what I did. I cooked last night all this so I didn't have to do it today. That way I was able to clean up a lot quicker, one mess, and all I have to do now is get all of this, cut it up, and be done. So that is one reason why a menu is really helpful because I knew I was gonna make this, so I cooked it all last night. I only have, to, I don't have to clean up a huge mess now, okay? So we're gonna add that to our eggs. That's the bacon. And then I also have breakfast sausage. Um, yeah, this is um, my husband. Um, I've said it before. If there's not meat in what we're making, he thinks I'm trying to kill him. So, and I just say, you know what? 
You don't have enough life insurance. You're safe. It's okay. Until you get more life insurance, you don't need to worry. All right, so. Mix it all up. Now you can add a lot more stuff in here. Caramelized onions would be really fantastic. I have some green onions that are getting a little, hmm. Um, that's why cleaning out the fridge once a week is really, really important, okay? And I've added a lot of meat to this, okay? So we're gonna add in the rest of the bread. And then I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna add some more eggs. So you see my mixture, it needs a little bit more egg in it. I'm gonna add some more eggs and then I'm gonna pour it right on here and I'm gonna let it sit for about 30 minutes so that the bread will soak up that egg mixture. And then bake it at 375 for about 20 to 30 minutes. I'll look at the exact time on my instructions. And you'll have a great egg strata that is fantastic. It's a great prep ahead. You can even make this ahead the night before and then pop it in the oven the next day. Or, um, so if you have people coming over, what is that like? Um, there's so, so many different ways you can do this. So tons of strata recipes. You can add broccoli. You can, like, you can do so many different kinds. So anyway, that's what a strata is. And I'm going to put this in the oven, bake it, and go do laundry. Have a good day.